So here's the good news. Just because you moved to Mexico does not mean you have to say goodbye to Amazon. There's Amazon.com, Amazon.com.mx, there's Mercado Libre. There's a number of ways to do online shopping. The only problem is that you really have to look around to see when you're getting the best deal. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the different options for getting things in Mexico and some of the pros and cons of each. So I got to film the start of this video out on the beach, doing a little walk with one of my foster dogs, Butterscotch. Butterscotch will be up for adoption in maybe a month or so, has a lot of work to do. He's still learning how to be on a leash and he's also learning the command to drop whatever nastiness you're eating on the beach and move ahead. But now I am here in my office to go through this with you. So I'm gonna be using this APC UPS uh, one. And I do have a couple of seven week old puppies on the ground. You might be hearing them having a little bit of a wrestling match. I'll be sure to include a, a little video of them later on. But anyway, back to you, Amazon. This is just amazon.com US. This is if I was in the US and I wanted to buy this, uh, this backup battery surge protector and it's $134 and it would get delivered in two days to Portland, Oregon. Sometimes it's only one day. Those really quick deliveries are something you're going to have to uh, give up. You can still get things from Amazon. It just isn't that fast. Some of the things are pretty quick though. So let's go through and look at that at the same thing on amazon.com if you were going to be having this delivered to Mexico. So it's my next tab here. So here I'm getting it delivered to La Paz. Same exact thing, it's still in English. We are on amazon.com, uh, the US version, but we don't see it directly available. We have to go to see all buying options. And so let's go to see all buying options and see what we have. So we have a couple here that look like they're not that bad of a deal from 135 up to 155 or 158 or 172. But then you have to add in the shipping and whatever cost it takes to get across the border in terms of customs. So this one is $90 delivery in you know two to four weeks. Uh, similar down here, it's $366 delivery um, two to five weeks. Uh, this one's a little bit quicker, but you're gonna pay $827 for delivery. So what this tells me is for the most part here, this is probably not something that I wanna buy on amazon.com and have shipped to Mexico. So let's go ahead and go to amazon.com.mx, which is another option. This is the Mexican version. So on amazon.com.mx, it does show up in Spanish, but if you're using Chrome, you can translate this all over to English. Let's just do that just uh, to keep things simple as we can. And it is listed in pesos. Uh, and the peso is approximately 20 pesos for US dollars. So take off the last digit, divide by two, this is approximately $300. And shipping in six to 10 days, um, that's maybe starting. Um, there is an importation warning, so this is coming from the United States and could get tied up. Sometimes you're able to get things from amazon.com.mx that are coming from Mexico and they're in a Mexican warehouse so you don't have to worry about these Imports. Let's just throw it in the cart. Um, like I said, way too expensive. Let's go to pay. And here we go. So we've got the total price and you can get free shipping arriving in two to four weeks. So that's probably not a good deal. It costs too much. The shipping is long. Would have been better off on Amazon.com. But let's look over at Mercado Libre, which is more common down here. So we've got a better price now. And this is, uh, I've noticed this is actually just approximately the same thing. These aren't exactly the same. The part numbers vary by like one letter. So there are some tiny little differences here, and, but it's very hard to find those. But we'll just go, um, assuming these are very similar, we've got a better price here and uh, it includes the tax. Things in Mexico have to include the tax in there, uh, the list price. Um, it's got free shipping um, the 3rd of February. So that's about a week away. So that should, uh, this is probably a good deal. Let's take this down. So about $217 if we buy it over here. 
Now, of course, there's walmart.com.mx. Again, in Spanish, but you can translate it over. Actually, it looks like for some reason, walmart.com can't be translated over. And here about the same price as Mercado Libre. So not that I would encourage anyone to sneak stuff across the border, but this might be something that uh, if you're driving down, you may have one of these with you. I know there's, uh, I don't want to cover that in this video of crossing the border. I know there's uh, some things are exempt, some things are not exempt, very complicated, not something I know, but it might be something that would be worth bringing down with you if you're driving. If you're living in Mexico or thinking about moving to Mexico, maybe retiring or retiring early in Mexico, click the subscribe button and that little bell icon and tell YouTube that you want those notifications about the new videos that come out in my channel. But let's look at something else here. So this is amazon.com and this is to be shipped to La Paz and this is $33.96 plus $8.29 shipping. This is amazon.com.mx, same thing. And this one is um, 55 US dollars, but with free shipping. So a little bit more expensive on amazon.com.mx than it is getting it from the US. So another thing to be aware of here is that some items, uh, like this one costs $7 from amazon.com, but it's $8.27. So it costs more to ship it than to buy the actual item. I very seldomly see the uh, import fees deposit um, as less than $8. So it goes up from there, but it doesn't really go below that point. So let me look at another pool thermometer. These are a few things that I need around my house. And you can see here, I think this is Mercado Libre, but this item is in English. So I think this is maybe a little bit of a scam that people are using. So if I say a swimming pool thermometer instead of a Thermometro flotante de piscina. The price here now is seventy-five dollars, and I think there's this. Um, there are maybe some people out here who are um, less than honest and figure that these prices are confusing to gringos. You might accidentally buy something that is way, way too expensive. Uh, same thing or very similar thing also on Mercado Libre, a slightly different thermometer but this one is just $10. So the point here is that you have to do a lot of looking around, make sure you read the fine print like that importation. I did have something that was shipped from China that was drop shipped directly to Mexico and it was uh, some electronics and a security system and I had to pay an exorbitant amount. I had to go to the FedEx office to pick it up but once there, there was a form uh, for how much the customs, how much customs they needed to collect. So I had paid for the shipping, but the customs was, I don't remember exactly, but it was a lot. A lot of things from China seem to be pretty expensive down in Mexico. And when you're shopping on amazon.com, not everything is available for shipping to Mexico. So you'll see here though, typically if the price is shown here, it will ship to Mexico. One thing I've noticed is if it's sponsored and the price is shown, that's not a guarantee that it's going to be shipping to Mexico. But if it's not in the sponsored area and it has a price, it'll probably ship to Mexico. And often it says ships to Mexico. So you can see here the number of things that aren't shipping down here. And a lot of people wonder whether they'll be able to receive packages at their house down here. So it's possible to have packages shipped down in a number of different ways. But for the most part, if you just put in your street address. If you have a street address, like if you're in a bigger city, you might have a street address. Here where I am outside a medium-sized city, I don't have a street name or a street address. In this little town here, a lot of people do have street names uh, and maybe the, the nearest cross street. Some people have street numbers on their houses, but for the most part, what I found is the best way to do it is to describe where your house is. You know, it's behind the OXO and has yellow columns or something like that. Also include your Mexican cell phone number so that the delivery person can send you a text and kind of coordinate maybe if they're close, 
I usually have to go out in the street and wave them down to find them, to get them directly to me. But then that driver knows where you are and in the future, they'll be able to find you. And the packages do come, as I mentioned, by FedEx or by a local delivery company or, or DHL. There's a number of ways. It's just, you're not getting anything from the postal service. So if you love online shopping, it's still available to you. It just might be a little more tricky to pull it off. And as always, if you are living in Mexico and you've got some tips for everyone, leave those in the comments down below. And if you're new to Mexico, be sure to check out the comments to see what other folks have to say. Now, as promised, I've got a video about those tiny little puppies and there's some more videos on the screen that you might be interested in watching.